Hey guys, it's like almost 11 and yeah, I am still in my jammy jams. Have not done anything to myself <laughs> today, but uh, I felt inspired to do a day in the life. So good morning to you. It is the week of Christmas and I am so in holiday mode. I don't feel like doing anything except cooking and enjoying my family and just making the house beautiful. So school has really been on the back burner. I have a couple things going on this morning already. Hector had a very full day ahead of him, so I made him a really hearty breakfast. I made bacon, I made a big egg scramble with onions and peppers and spinach and mushrooms, and then I seasoned it with salt and pepper and turmeric, and I made him my chai latte uh, tea with coconut oil and butter and cream and turmeric just to keep him full as long as possible because he is going to be on the road all day. He's got clients from out of state looking at houses all day and I didn't know when he would be able to stop for lunch so I wanted to feed him real good this morning. The boys and I read some Leviticus, some Proverbs, and some Acts this morning and now I just fed the animals. Well, I've still got to feed the guinea pigs. I have all these dishes waiting for me. I gotta unload the dishwasher and then reload it. And I'm gonna put all the sheets to wash. Then I'm gonna go take care of myself. I need to do a lot. We don't have to go into the crazy busy town right now, the week of Christmas. Oh my goodness. My mom and I went grocery shopping this Saturday to have everything we need for Christmas so that we don't have to leave the house <laughs> all week or go to the stores. Last night I was wrapping gifts um, while the boys watched 101 Dalmatians, the old version, which by the way, you guys, I don't know why Cruella DeVille is hilarious to me. I laugh at every time she talks, I, you hear me chuckling and Hector's like, what's so funny? I don't know. I don't know why she is so funny to me. She's so ridiculous. Maybe that's why her constant anger. I don't know why she cracks me up. So I was cleaning the kitchen while the boys started the movie and she is just unbelievable. I'm gonna continue tackling my work here. Gotta feed the guineas first, then get the dishes and the laundry going and then get myself better than this. <laughs> oh, and the boys are in the woods. They have been really into cutting down trees. So Hector and I went for a walk yesterday and we were like, boys, it looks like a tornado came through here. They have chopped down any tree that they can chop down that is, you know, they're small. So they're just all laying in every direction throughout all the woods. I'm like, okay, we gotta clear this all out and make it firewood because this is absurd. The woods were so clear and tidy with beautiful pathways and stuff that Hector's worked so hard on and the kids went a little too crazy with the tools. So we definitely gotta tidy up in there.
Okay, so it is 11.45. My children are playing some awesome games and I don't wanna make them stop. So I'm gonna start lunch. We just chatted. When lunch is ready, they want me to call them. And then at the table we'll read, do school, and then either they'll wanna keep playing or we'll go to the antique store. We don't have to go to the antique store today. I just thought it would be fun. But obviously, if they're having a blast on their property, I am not gonna make them stop. So I'm gonna get some lunch going. And once it's going, I'm gonna have a seat and read Ephesians 1 with you guys. Jax has joined us on our walk. Um, so let me show you some of the beauty here today. I'm going in to serve up lunch. I think I'm gonna have leftover white chili and I made the boys some baked potatoes. Well, I discovered some Hawaiian sweet roll tuna for that and baked potatoes with cheese, sour cream, and butter, and hummus with all the color peppers. And for myself, I'm having my white chili. I am going to tidy up these dishes, and I might go hide and wrap the rest of the gifts while they play. And I'm gonna go tidy up the playroom, which I know is a mess since small group when all the kids were here. They took everything out, so I'm gonna go tidy that up. And then probably, um, what do you got there? What are you gonna do? Yes, that's awesome. I found it in school. Are you guys gonna use this? Yeah. Or are you just looking at it? We're really gonna use it. If you're gonna use it, it needs to be outside. What? That's where we own yeah. nine and a half points. So. Oh,
the boys bought some gifts for their grandma and their daddy from the Christian bookstore. Some bookmarks and pens and Bible highlighters. So I'm actually going to get them to come and wrap their gifts. I just realized that I didn't press start to the uh, dryer. So now who knows when the sheets will be dry and I definitely think it's way more convenient to put clean sheets on the bed earlier in the day. But at least it's the first load. It won't be like the last load at eight o'clock. So I'll put the sheets on the bed probably within the next hour or so and then I'll start dinner. But I don't know if we're gonna go to the antique store. My kids are like, no, we wanna play, we wanna play. So this morning they were super excited about going, but then once they got their game going, it's like everything else disappeared in their mind. They are on a mission. <laughs> and I guess it's just one of those awesome days. I bet you they'll talk about this day forever. You know, when you were a kid, those days that you would just play the same thing all day long and you have such good memories of it. Uh, my cousins and I have a few of those that we just remember like, remember we did this? the whole day and the boys and I once on a rainy day we played clue no joke for like three or four hours straight over and over and over and over then we took a break then we came back and played more so I think it's sweet I'm just gonna sit outside for a little while because it is gorgeous and peaceful and beautiful and I have a few messages from my friends that I'm gonna listen to and I hear them playing <laughs> and my mom should be home soon. So yeah. Is it already making bubbles? The yeah. bubbles are, the smoke is inside the bubbles. Don't touch the ice. Inside the bubbles. Cool. Touch the, <laughs> oh cool. Look how frozen these tongues are. Wow. So I decided to make the chicken vegetable curry tomorrow. I'm just not feeling it. I really, really wanted to make these sauteed chicken thighs with a lot of onion, olive oil, butter, rosemary, oregano, salt and pepper. Looking delicious on that cast iron. I'm gonna make some veggies on the side with rice and I'm gonna save this chicken for tomorrow when I'll make the chicken vegetable curry.
Dinner's almost ready. Hector's almost home. I think this video is coming to its end. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. It's always fun to film these. God bless you guys. And I'm sure I won't have a video up till after Christmas. So Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy your families and this slow time of the year. God bless you guys. See you next time.